Employee share schemes or employee share ownership plans are a structure by which a company either gives employees shares in the firm they work for or the an opportunity to buy shares in the company. And joining me today to delve a little deeper into employee share ownership plans and how they can be leveraged in private companies is Craig West from Succession Plus. Welcome Craig. Hi, nice to be here. Excellent. So to start with, how popular are these types of schemes among both private and um, listed companies and how do they work and for what reasons are they put in place? Look, they're becoming more and more popular. So I think over time, lots of business owners, whether it's listed or private companies, have an issue with employees. And the issue is three things. They want to attract good ones, they want to keep them when they get them there, and then they want to motivate them to perform or to improve their performance. And one of the best ways to do that is to use an employee share plan. So you mentioned listed companies, they've all got employee share plans of some sort. Privately held companies is typically a little bit more difficult because the shares aren't listed, they're a little bit harder to value. But the plans that we use have actually been designed specifically to use in small, privately held companies, typical SME business owners. Now, as you've explained, they're a way of attracting, motivating and retaining staff. What are some more benefits of these types of schemes? Well, that's probably the primary benefit. But the key thing is really, it's really one thing. You actually want employees to think and act like business owners. So it's really about aligning the goals of the employee with the goals of the company and the owner. And when you've got everybody working towards the same goal, you get much better performance. Excellent. Um, and what are some of the drawbacks of a time? Look, there's not a lot of drawbacks. I mean, I guess one of the important drawbacks is to consider who you want to invite into the plan. So you've got to think about this. This is somebody that you're bringing in into an equity position in the business itself. So they're becoming an owner with you. So you don't want to throw those offers around willy-nilly and invite everybody. You probably want to be a little bit selective in the key people that you bring in. But in terms of drawbacks, I think the big thing that we're talking about here is actually an advantage. What most people think is a drawback is that these are long-term plans. Now, I actually think that's an advantage. I think it's a, a big benefit for privately held companies to lock employees in for a long period of time. Big issues around staff turnover, replacing people, recruiting, retraining, it all costs a lot of money. So if you can lock good people in for a long period of time, that's a big advantage in my view. And how long have you guys been helping people out do this privately? Yeah, we started in 2007 um, and we came up with a fairly unique structure called a peak performance trust, which is specifically designed around small to medium sized businesses. And uh, that structure's actually won the Employee Share Plan of the Year Award twice in four years because it's specifically designed to align employees with business owners. So there's been lots of government changes regarding the Employee Share Plans. How's that place you now? Yeah, look, there has been a lot of government changes. They changed the legislation in uh, July of 2015 and introduced, along with this innovation agenda of the new government, there's been a lot of talk about Employee Share Plans. It's actually made them easier to do. Um, it's actually made employee share plans for start-up and smaller companies cheaper and quicker, um, which is a good thing. So they're becoming more popular and it's becoming easier to put them into place. The key thing really is to make sure that you get the appropriate share plan for your business and the appropriate share plan to match what you're actually trying to achieve. Some people are using them for employees, others are using them as a succession tool, and others like startup companies often use them to raise a bit of capital and get things started. So different horses for courses. Um, the idea is to really get the right plan to match what you're trying to do. And I think what the government's done has actually made that easier in a lot of situations. Great. Thanks for joining me today, Craig. Pleasure. And if any accountants, advisors and financial planners or lawyers out there are interested in learning more, please head to our events page and register for the ESOP afternoon session in your state. Thanks. <music>